Welcome everyone to the iKings Daily Report. Today is May 14th and this episode of the Daily Report will cover uh, Candyland block crafting. This is video one. Now we're going to ch craft chocolate bar, uh, chocolate brick blocks. Now what you need for this is eight chocolate bars which are crafted from cocoa powder and you just uh, like just craft it by forming like you would a normal brick bra blah <laughs> brick block by uh crafting it on a three by three crafting table not in your inventory one and you see it gives you a chocolate block yeah <laughs> uh, let's move on to peppermint bars these are crafted from four iron uh, yeah, two iron bars, iron ingots, and two peppermint, uh, four peppermint barks, whatever variation of peppermint barks you have, either white stock or uh, red stock. And there you go, you got peppermint bars. I apologize if I st sound stuffy, I'm not feeling that well today. And now on to mint carpet. Craft it with four gumballs. Green on top, blue on the right side, plum on the bottom, and uh, I think that's gum uh, classic gumball flavor, and four uh, peppermint barks, whatever kind, red stock or white stock, yet again, and a sphere mint. Let's just switch that around, because I got that wrong. <laughs> Uh, peppermint carpet. Now I'm going to take you down to level 2 of my little block testing facility here. Right. And let's just jump down there. Again, I'm not recording this as I'm recording the video. The audio is coming as I'm watching the video playback because I still don't have a new mic. First, we'll go into the chocolate brick block room to show you how it looks. That is how chocolate bricks look when they're stacking against each other. I think they look pretty good. Let me know your opinions on those. And they do have a high break factor, but I'm trying to decide if I want to put in a feature where you can melt the chocolate bricks. Not sure yet. Let's go into the candy castle wall. Okay, now, this, these blocks are uncraftable, and they, they spawn naturally with the candy castle. So the only time you're going to see these are on the candy castle. Let's just, yeah, they do have a medium break, but uh, when, the, when they're put into the candy land in the world gem, they'll be unbreakable. Now these are the ugly, ugly, uh, ugly berry reeds. I'm still playing with the textures of reeds. Uh, what you see, they're on Adipose Breeding Planet 1 grass right now. <laughs> Even the science has ugly berry stalks. Uh, let's go to the ice shard room. Now, the ice shards are used for crafting things like ice cream, uh, different kinds of ice cream, and what you do is you break a block of ice, any block of ice, and you get four ice shards. The textures for the ice shards are still under uh, work, but if you break them, they will still drop water. Like that, and they will still drop the uh, ice shard block uh, items drops. Sorry, I'm a bit thirsty. I don't have anything here, and I'm talking like a uh, deranged madman while waiting for the video to speed up so that I can continue on with the video. Instead, of, I'm just walking around not knowing what to do in this video. Yeah. Now, this is peppermint carpet. It doesn't look too great on uh, blocks like uh, 98, oh yeah, uh, stone brick, I think that is. Yeah, I know everything by their item ID. Oh no, it doesn't show it on there. <laughs> I forgot to film an extra part, but you would have seen uh, how the peppermint carpet looked on different kinds of blocks 
of wool, which it really looks amazing on blocks of wool. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, a thing about the peppermint bars. Now, I uh, peppermint bars and iron bars, they're very finicky because, well, you know how they are. You have to get them aligned perfectly and the placement is just off because they're so thin and they're not, see, and sometimes they double do that, but that's not a fault in the code, that's just how they work because they're so thin and they're, you have to get them aligned almost perfectly to get it to go. And the texture, I'm still fiddling with the texture, I'm not that sold on my texture yet for these, but yeah. Now, the peppermint bars will serve a purpose in Candyland. They will be uh, holding it into the mini game. And you see that right there. They do curve around to align just like glass panes or iron blocks would do. In fact, this uses parts of the iron blocks uh, texture uh, yeah, code that source uh, S. 3RC source uh, coded for these. Uh, yeah. And I am thirsty. Should have brought out some iced tea or something before I started recording because now I am regretting. <sighs> so, yeah, let's just get rid of everything in my inventory and head out to the next room, I think. I think that might be. Uh, I have no clue what I'm doing. I think I got all the rooms done. Just break a little bit of mint snow. I think I'm heading back up. But yes, this is only the first batch of uh, candy lime blocks that I've made. I've been focusing on the adipose breeding planets 1, 2, and 3. Uh, got the ground blocks all coated in as of right now, what I'm working on right now is the world generation and the uh, uh, items. Yeah, so this was the iKings Daily Report. Uh, you'll probably see this on the 15th. I'm recording this on, the, on May 14th. Uh, just because I'm waiting on my new computer to come in, uh, I have to build it today. Uh, and that'll improve my video rendering time by so much. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the ICC Plus Podcast or iTunes Daily Report, wherever you're watching this, YouTube, iTunes, or the iTunes SGC forums, or any other site that you're seeing us on. Let me know your feedback in the comments, and uh, yeah, have a good day.